I'm saying that our clients are dissatisfied with the judgment just delivered. And uh, we have the firm instruction of our clients to challenge the judgment on appeal. And uh, the court has promised us that possibly by tomorrow, we are going to get a copy of the judgment. Once we have it, we will swing it to action. Let me, let me say this, let me say this. We have to be very, very careful in this country. If we are not careful, electoral jurisprudence will virtually disappear. I'm saying this with every amount of sincerity because when the litigants, when those who contested the election continue to find it very difficult to establish their case due to obstacles all the way, starting by INES, certainly they may resort to some other means of trying to seek justice, which may not be lawful. And nobody encourages that. Nobody encourages that. So, and also, I commend the Court of Appeal for introducing live streaming. You will recall that we applied to the court to have live streaming of all the proceedings. The court, in its wisdom, did not grant the application. But now, in the end, they saw wisdom in it to guarantee transparency. Hence, they introduced live streaming of the judgment. Certainly, it would have been better if there was live streaming of the entire proceedings so that the public will now watch it from beginning to the end and connect properly with the judgment. But this one just started from the judgment. So they didn't start from the very beginning. So I do hope and pray that next time it will be continuous from the beginning of the case, beginning of the hearing until, until the end. That is the only way you can ensure transparency. Because when something is open, people will see it themselves and they will make up their minds one way or the other. Any other way? Thank you very much. Finally, finally, I leave, I leave you with one word. 